Hi guys, it's Casey. You want to have these awesome thumbnails like in Fortnite, Apex or other games? Then stay tuned and watch this tutorial and I'll show you how to make these awesome Fortnite thumbnails. So let's go. So in Photoshop, you go and create a new template. I got my custom here. It's 1920 by 1080 just create and then you go and get your background now you just go create a new layer and go to the bottom one and fill this with black there you go and then we go to the websites and download all the stuff we need so why i got here is uh, a similar font to the fortnite font because the original font i'm not sure if it's used for the web and here it looks like it um and it's 100 percent free so you can download for free the link is in the description so yeah we got that then we go to the website where you got all the skins for fortnite it's called fnbr.co and then icons and here you have all your skins when you download or you can just search for them and yeah it's pretty cool you can go and click one of these icons and then you get a separate side so here you have two pictures just right click and save image so i got this image now and here in photoshop we go and import that now so we got this uh we go and drag this over so now I got a new layer with the character in there. You could need a background picture, just go to Google and Google a Fortnite picture and then... Well, I got a nice one from the lava challenge. The lava came out, the volcano erupted in Loot Lake. Get this in here. Also go and press Ctrl T, make it bigger, a bit over the edges and drag it under your character so what i will do now is go and hide your character for now and with background picture i go and do this black and white for that we'll go to image adjustments and then hue and saturation and i drag down the saturation so now it's black and white after that click a new make a new layer and go to the grading tool down below here point bucket tool and there's a grading tool you can go also on the top here first one i would like to have maybe so i want some similar to the figure here so i think i will go with with the purple and this other colors so now go and select these both colors so the green here and the pink purple click in this picture here and select this color and switch to the white and select this color there you go we got both of these colors and now we can make a kind of like gradient so hide this gradient and i go to the second option to the radial gradient guys i'm i'm thinking of different because now i click in the purple and make this dark purple like ish so maybe like, I'm not sure, like that, or even darker. I think that's okay. So now you go and drag this from maybe a third of this, three third, whatever it's called. So and drag this over here. Well, let's use this one here. All right, so now let's go and switch the mode, the hard light. Oh my goodness, this looks pretty awesome. Okay, next one is we go and position our figure here. Um, make it so much bigger, so control T and make it bigger. Maybe you need to switch it even around, I'm not sure. Because I want to have it on this side. So let's go and go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. Oh yeah, that's better. So maybe we can go and do, do it like that maybe you can see the hand here again i'm not sure yeah that's okay now let's go work on the other background from so make it uh go to the um yeah the background from fortnite and we go to filter and blur and caution blur make it invisible so just the focus goes sits on on the on the character in front but still visible in the background so i think five is good so click ok next step is to go and focus more on the middle of the character here so we click on there and choose the blur tool here yeah it's a nice brush 
strength 100 and now go to the over the arms or something so everything that's not that interesting i think that's okay now what we do is create a new layer again and right click and then we go create clipping mask we go and get the brush tool and change the color back to normal so just click in here and then we go and can cr go and hold alt and we can go and get the brush size bigger and smaller so now we give this character here a bit highlight and depth so now just go with the uh also black make sure you have opacity 100 and then we go a bit over here of the hands around here somewhere and i'll switch to the white and make this brush a bit smaller maybe and then go over here so that's okay so now what we go and we go and switch to, to soft light there you go we can also go play around with opacity so so maybe though let's go and set this to 80. so to go and get it even more depth we go and create another mask so a new layer and right click create clip mask but now we go and get a brush and select the one of the background color like this one here so maybe go set the opacity now a bit down and go over here blend it more in and we set this to hard light okay make sure you have this layer above the other one and we go and set the fill a bit down so it's like the opacity but it's a different one so maybe 60. you click it on and off you see now it's it's going in there so now we need to go and make it stand out of the background so go and go under the character so over your background so like here create a new layer get the brush and select of one of the lighter colors of the uh, purple here so maybe this one okay so now get the brush and get the bright color so the bright purple and now make sure you have opacity 100 and go behind your character and click once so now you see it's a bit brighter now we change this to linear dodge edge add so it stands a bit out create a new layer this time we need a white color so go to the default switch and make your brush smaller now we go and go over a bit more in the background so like that so and this we go and set to soft light there you go wow it looks so much better but it's a bit too much i think you can see it here so let's go set the fill down like yeah six, 60 maybe so set when you turn it on and off looks pretty cool well maybe 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 a bit more let's go 70. well we are done with the character now and now we can go work on the text so hit t for the text or just click here and we go and writing like night which i don't know which okay let's say crucial 20 kill night witch rampage or something rampage so let's go and f the first one the crucial make it bigger so it goes over the screen so well we need for every kind here a separate one so the 20 kill and the night witch and the rampage but for now we go select everything and go and select our font so the font i got is single sleeve the link is in the description and now let's go just be with the crucial so we could go and duplicate so now got all four layers with the text here so go and click in here and delete that so we just got the crucial make it bigger get it up here so let's go get it over here like that 
and then get the second uh, get the second one and get the 20 kill so delete everything else get the 20 kill and drag it below your crucial and make this bigger we can work on the um font very soon so like that then the next is the night witch and the last one is the rampage so get this down below here Right, I got that too. And now let's go and create the font a bit. So go to the crucial. And here I want to go go to the color and get it a bit light grayish. The second one I want to have a purple. Let's see. Bright purple from here, but a bit even brighter. So maybe click in here. All right, the night witch, I want to go do the same color from the crucial. So click here and select copy and go into the night witch and tape go and paste in the gray and then we go to the rampage and it's the same color like we got that now we go select everything Control t and we tilt this a bit like that and make it bigger so maybe this looks pretty cool now let's go and give this font a effect, but for now I will go get this everything in a group. So now it's a font group. Double click on there to open the layer styles. So let's go and get, get bevel numbers. Click on there. Inner bevels looks good. Uh, Maybe the size down to, I don't know, 5. Let's get the depth to the biggest. Let's go and set the shadow mode to overlay. Put the color to black. And we go and get the highlight a bit higher. So it looks more like edgy-ish. And the shadow a bit less, I think. Get the use global light. Looks good. Next one, get drop shadow. And blending mode, it's hard light. Get the opacity up, so distance like 8 and a size of a 2, so let's see. So like that maybe. Oh, and the color, I want to make a dark uh, purple. So get it from over here, click OK, and let's see the size. So it's standing off of the background a bit. OK, that's it with that. Okay, next go create a new layer. But before that, don't forget, hold Alt and go to between those both layers. So it just affects the text layer. And now get the gradient. Go get the basic preset here, the first one. And click on reverse. Check this. And now we can go from the middle to the outer side. So direct this out. OMG, this looks amazing. So just go switch this to, let's say, maybe overlay. Oh, looks, looks like cartoon ish. And just go play with the opacity. Let's see, 75. So when you turn it on and off, see it's a bit different. All right, next we go and create a new layer. So it's on top of everything else. We go to the brush. Select a big brush, a very soft brush. Next we go and select a very dark purple here from somewhere here. And then we go go over the corner here. Like that. Doesn't matter if it's all over the font, like that. And now we go set the blend mode to hard light. And get the opacity down. This looks cool. Now I want to go and get the highlight for the font a bit, so go back, go over the first mask of your font and create new layer, make it also with alt and affect the layer below, go and switch to white and just click once on the 20 kill and rampage, so click on here, click on here. 
you know, let's go switch this to overlay and set this opacity down like yeah let's say 30. right so now let's go create some effects for that we go to the top layer of this one here so click on here create new layer and i want to make some like um motion streaks so just go and go on here and click the line tool and make sure it's white all right make sure you have the weight here so that's the size of the stroke here so well this was pretty good so let's maybe do that so we go just inwards like that make it bigger and smaller right now it looks terrible but don't worry we will work on that so maybe like that and now we go and select every shape here so like that right click and we go to merge shapes so just one so now go right click on the layer right click and go to rasterize layer so no it's no more a mask or something then we go to filter blur gaussian blur now set this very high like so it's still visible right now we on the layer of the shapes so the movement shapes here get the eraser tool get a big brush and set opacity down maybe to 30 or something and get a bit over the edges here maybe set the hardness to 50 or something so set the opacity a bit down here barely visible maybe we need to go over and go to filter blur and then go to motion blur and get this a bit higher so maybe like that so what i thought now to the addition because it's a witch let's go and make the eyes a bit more glowish and maybe some kind of like something in the hands so let's go create a new layer on the top of everything else below your uh, vignette get a bright purple here and a brush that's the same well i'll make it like this big and that's uh set opacity like the middle one here so go over your eye here get one click here another click and make the brush bigger and get that in the hand here and maybe over here too so right now it looks very stupid but go change your blend mode to linear dodge this looks pretty cool huh um so get the eraser tool and just a small brush and erase a bit over from his her hand here just a bit uh go a bit over so it looks she has a ball in her hand and maybe also a bit over the hair here but now let's go set the opacity a bit down like 75 looks pretty cool and turn it off and on that's pretty cool if you want to go and see more how to create these awesome thumbnails or make awesome banners with fortnite or other games subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new tutorial of this awesome design here also go and check out my other tutorials maybe it's helping you there too by the way this template is in the description down below